One of the most controversial songs in a long time, Falling Down featuring X and Lil Peep. Yeah, fans might have loved it at the time, but it got a crazy story behind it. To start, this song got released when both artists thought they had passed away, but it go deeper than that. Back when X first blew up and wasn't smooth, he was surrounded with a lot of controversy and slowly over time, that turned people against him. So for years, as he was going up, people developed their negative feelings toward bro. And one of the artists who had some negative feelings toward X was Lil P. But they problems? started back during a great time for music 2016 arguably one of the best years of my generation life during 2016 lil peep and ski mask and something like was homies and if y'all know ski mask was basically x brother they was locked in if you seen x you seen ski mask you seen ski you seen x you feel me they was locked in and so he was at peep crib one day and they were just sitting there recording some music doing their thing and they even dropped the song but while ski was there some problems came up all of a sudden while he at lil peep house his bag somehow go missing, all his luggage gone. He was basically thinking, how come when I get to Peep House, my stuff go missing? And so bro took it to Twitter. So I supposedly lost my luggage at Peep House. If y'all see anyone with my go-yard do-rag or clothes, let me know so I can s them. Then not too long after this, bro got on IG talking crazy. It's okay though, it's okay. Y'all broke, broke and you a boy. I'm Tracy though, shout out to Tracy, shout out to Dre. They some thieves. I ain't going to do myself. I ain't going to jail. <laughs> Boys. Lil Peep, you trash. Lil Peep, Peep, tell them how y'all y'all hump each other. Tell them how y'all hump each other and say y'all playing. Tell them how y'all tell them how y'all sniff. Tell them how y'all sniff and do hell. Ski was really talking crazy back then. But the second this beef started with Ski, X started beefing with him too. He thought, look, Ski Mask my brother. He beefing with him, I'm beefing with him. That's how I'm coming. And for the next year, X, Ski Mask, Peep, none of them was cool. But everything would change when November 17, 2017 would come around. Lil Peep passed away from an overdose. And around this time, he started to pop. And people really loved him. And his whole side of the internet was feeling some type of way. And the rest of the internet did what they always do, showed their respect. And X even got online and showed his respect too. X had got on IG and posted, we don't get along. But man, it hurt to see you pass so early. You deserve to live longer. Rest in peace, Lil P. And it was like everybody was just paying their respects to Lil P. But it was one artist who ain't like all this love Pete was getting. One of Pete's closest friends, Lil Tracy. He was mad that everybody was showing all this love to Pete out of nowhere. He was basically thinking, y'all ain't show Pete no love when he was alive. Why you doing it now? And so he took to Twitter and started talking crazy. I don't really care what happened. I know for a fact people like X, Uzi, Yachty, Straight meat riding. We known Pete for how long? When you ever heard them say your name till now? What? And I'm willing to fight and die behind them words. Now look, bro might have dissed the whole industry, but his best friend just died. Somebody he was around for years. Ain't no telling what kind of mental space they put him in. But him saying this ain't come without no problems. Y'all mad. Y'all talking, but you broke. I got 60,000 on my neck. I got another 75,000 on my wrist. Yo, doing shows for like two thousand dollars <laughs> listen what you get for a show that's what i get for a media degree what you do for a show that's what i spend on a pipe nigga. what you do for a show that's what i wipe my ass with just because i ain't give you a feature don't mean you gotta be mad at me I ain't give you a feature because you garbage. You a bum. But this this ain't only come with negativity. A few days after this tweet, Lil Chasey posted a picture of a new tat he got. You can see from the picture, he got a peep in the middle of his head for Lil Peep. And X, out of all people, showed him support. Even after he disrespected X, called him a meat rider, said he'd fight him, said he'll die behind them words, X still was mature enough to come out and show bro some love. And over the next few months, X was supporting people real public and at one point a meme page had made a meme making fun of Pete and X called him out publicly he hopped on his story defending Pete why do people feel like it's okay to diss Pete this man passed away and you trying to get clout off but he was really supporting him leading up to his death and even at one point explained his problems with Pete Ski had Ski had beef with little Pete back in the day and that's why I, I had never like I never co-signed him I never talked to him I would never do anything with him but we had similar friends, we knew similar people, and all I would hear was good things about him. But due to my loyalty to Ski, I would not quit, bro. My loyalty to Ski, bro, and like, and, and it's funny because my loyalty to Ski oversees a lot of things, you know what I'm saying? And people didn't really realize that. With, with Lil Peep, the reason I felt the need to say something was because I felt a, a form of guilt. I felt not only a form of guilt, and I wanted to, the word is not reconciled, but I wanted to, I wanted to fix that feeling in a proper way. 
not in some clout way, not in some like, okay, how can I, how can I look at this? this man's death and apply that to my fan base. X was really speaking facts and being honest during the last few months of his life, he was really changing. But during these few months, he supported Pete behind the scenes too. But in June 2018, X would pass away. He passed away and that hurt the world in the rap space just how Pete's death did. But a few months after he passed, a song got released that featured Pete and X. This song got a little backstory to it. Before X even got on the song, it was already a thing. Instead of Peep and X, it was Peep and I Love McCone. Yeah, the nigga from Tuesday. Back when him and Pete was in London one day, they made an original. It was called Sunlight on Your Skin. And after Pete passed, McConan played a snippet of the song on his IG. And guess who heard it? X. And so, McConan let him get on there. But what he ain't realized was how many problems it was caused. Because back to September 2018, when the song dropped, Pete friends felt different. Around this time, they was out online talking crazy. Pete never heard the Triple X feature because it didn't get made until after he was gone. He explicitly rejected Triple X for his women, spent time and money getting Triple X's songs removed from his Spotify playlist, and wouldn't have co-signed that song. Don't listen to it. It's people trying to make money off of him. He never would have signed up for that. He did not like Triple X Sensation. I know a lot of fans cross over, but this is dead wrong. If you have an ounce of respect for him and the person he was and his politics, ignore it. And even this boy Lil Tracy was talking about how Peep and X was never even cool or friends to begin with. But at the same time, someone else came out saying the opposite. And before I tell you what he said, I just made it ready for y'all to come ask me questions, give me video ideas, really anything. And that link will be at the top of the description. But back to the story, a man who went by the name Fat Nick had this to say right before Pete passed. We had a conversation about X, and after his tour, we were all gonna go meet and chill at X's. I called X, he was super happy about it. Unfortunately, they couldn't link up. And after this tweet, he kept talking about it. And eventually, the man who originally spoke out on the song started getting crazy hate. And one of X's closest friends, DJ Scheme, started coming at bro. Scheme tweeted at him. He said, I'm gonna beat your ass for speaking to my brother at Fishnark. Fishnark read that, I'm like, bro, what, bro? And so he started backtracking. I feel that people think I'm trying to insult X, but really, I wish him rest. I protest a posthumous collab between two unaffiliated artists. It's less disrespectful to X because he professed his fandom, but it still exploited both artists. What y'all think about that though? Is he spitting facts? It was really a split between Pete friends. One side saying he would have been cool with it, the other side saying, hell no, nah, he ain't with that. Like, McConan even came out saying he felt like Pete wouldn't have a problem with it because Pete loved creativity and he loved being different. And he felt like X being on that song wouldn't have made Pete feel some type of way. But his other men, oh, Pete ain't like that. Pete disrespected X. Pete talked down on X all the time. But eventually, the truth came out. After everything that was said, Nark came out saying what he said was really out of anger. And that he take back what he said about the song and that basically everything was a lie. And the whole situation was just a misunderstanding. But this situation was really sad. I get that everyone was grieving and felt their own ways, but I'm glad everything got cleared up. Kind of similar to what happened in my last video. I go into all the details behind the time X got knocked out. And that's on screen right now.